All right, let's go through the uh, the new Trail Guides app from with, uh, that you guys did with Trails Off Road. Tell me all about it. Yes, right. So this all came about because we want to make it easier for Wrangler customers to plan their off-road trips and find off-road trails. So we partnered with Trails Off Road to load right into the head unit of the new 2024 Wrangler adventure guides for trails all across the country. Okay. So to access it, go to vehicle dashboard and we've got a button here for adventure guides. And with the adventure guides, Wrangler customers, they get access to 200 trails across the country for 24 months. That includes all 62 of the badge of honor trails. And there's an available premium subscription for $39.99 that includes access to over 3,000 trails. It includes access to the entire Trails Off-Road library of trails. So after that first 24 months, do you have to um, then pay for a subscription uh, for access to any of it? Correct, yes. You'd, okay. you'd have to get the, the premium subscription for the $39.99. Okay, so let's go take us to, so, through the app. So once we go into Adventure Guides, there's a few ways to search for a trail. If you know the name of a trail, you can simply search for it. Um, you can also look for trails near you, and this is gonna pull up uh, trails located nearby, sorted by shortest distance. Um, there's also preloaded trails, um, and there are five of these preloaded into every every vehicle, every Wrangler that's equipped with adventure guides, um, covering some of our most popular badge of honor trails. One's in Moab, the Rubicon Trail, of course, uh, Peter's Mill Run on the, the East Coast. Um, and then you can also download trails. And the benefit here is, let's say you're going to a very remote off-road location where you don't have connectivity mm -hmm. and you still want to be able to access the trail guide on the map, you can download the trail ahead of time and it's going to show up in this downloaded area. So the 200 trails, are those already preloaded in the vehicle? Those are not preloaded. Okay, so so it's, it's five of those 200 are preloaded. Okay. And then the other 200, you can either download and they'll go in that downloaded section or you know you can locate them through the trails near you okay so normally it just downloads them on the fly as you request correct them. correct okay. what, with if you have the connectivity all right which sure right. yeah um so so in general you definitely want to pre you probably want to download them because a lot of the places you're going to be going probably aren't going to have much in the way of connectivity i i would recommend that yeah. yes okay um all right so we can go to demo trail so this is a demo that we set up just to kind of uh, show the capabilities of the adventure guides and all the information that's included um, so whenever you click on a trail whether you search for it by name whether you locate it through the trails near you um, whenever you click on a trail this is gonna be the view so right off the bat you get presented with a ton of information about the trail you've got the distance the duration the time to complete so this one takes 60 minutes to complete round trip um, and then it's located at an elevation of 3179 feet. Um, next, we've got our experience icons, and there are 15 of these. If I click the legend here, you can see all 15 and what they represent. So just at a quick glance, you know, they can provide some context as to the terrain and what you can expect to find on that specific trail. Um, so we've even got a lightning bolt one uh, indicating that, there, that there's a charging station near the trailhead to recharge it for. So if you've got a Wrangler 4xe, you can top it off, top off the battery before you start exactly. on the trail. Exactly. So then you can experience the, the electrification benefits offered, that instantaneous torque, the near silent operation. Yeah, I was I was just uh, trying the trail we have that you have over here in a 4xe Wrangler, and I did most of the trail in, in uh, electric mode. Yep. Um, yeah, that's I, I would, I, I would have done the whole thing except that it wasn't it wasn't fully charged before we started. So, got it. Um, so under the experience icons, there's a description of the trail, um, and then on the right hand side, there's a map of the trail itself with the numbered waypoints. For this demo trail, we only have we only have five numbered waypoints. Um, I can close that back, and then as we move down through the adventure guide, we get even more information. So here's that. A really nice detailed description and this is just giving an overview of the adventure guys not necessarily the, the actual trail um, and then this section provides a recommendation for the vehicle you know what kind of equipment you need um, in this case you, know, you can just do it with a, a four-wheel drive with with larger tires um, and then these are any concerns that may be associated with the particular trail 
Um, so if there are concerns about potential body damage just because of some really intense obstacles, that's going to be indicated just like it is here with a green check mark. So you, um, you might not want to take a Ram TRX down this particular trail. Well, especially, yeah, with yeah. no full size. Yeah. <laughs> that would probably be a bad idea. Um, you know, pinstriping if there's a potential for tree branches, uh -huh. scratching the side of the vehicle, scratching the paint. Um, you know, really if there are any concerns that a customer might have they can make sure or anything that they're not comfortable with they can make sure that that trail doesn't include those things you know some people are very uncomfortable that's very that's very handy to know oh, yeah. know this stuff you know i mean i've i've gotten stuck in a mud pit before and you know knowing that there's mud along a trail if you're not prepared for it that's definitely something you want to avoid oh absolutely this can and this can help make sure you're prepared right so if there's going to be deep sand you can bring max tracks to get traction mm -hmm. uh if there's mud you can make sure you're gonna have a you bring a buddy you have a toe strap <laughs> make yeah. sure you have mud terrain tires uh, or have a new wrangler with the uh with the optional uh built-in worn winch yes absolutely yeah. Eight thousand pound worn winch that would be a big help in a, in a really muddy trail um and then as we move down we get the uh the advanced sort of difficulty rating so all the trails are rated on a scale of one to ten one being the easiest ten being the most extreme the most difficult um, and there are always going to be two ratings for every single trail. You're going to have this mandatory rating. So this trail is rated at a four, and that encompasses everything that you absolutely have to do to complete the trail. Um, whereas this optional one, this is going to include any obstacles that you can bypass that are, that are optional. Um, and then we get into the waypoint section. So there's going to be a detailed description as well as the mile marker for every single waypoint. And then once you've found a trail that you want to tackle, you want to route the vehicle there. So then what we're going to do, we're going to go back to the top of the adventure guide and we're going to simply press go here. And that's going to send the GPS coordinates for the trail right to the integrated navigation system. With all those waypoints like and everything. Exactly, yep. And in this case, we're basically at the start of the trail already. So I get this pop-up for you know, you've reached your trail. You will arrive at your destination at 2.13 p.m. Which is now. So then we can simply press follow trail. And that's going to pull up this interface where you've got, you're presented with that really nice, large um, map of the trail. Once again, with the numbered waypoints. And then you've got that icon right there that's going to symbolize your location so you can track your progress making your way down the trail. Um, you've got real time pitch and roll while you continue down the trail and then when you get to any tricky spots on the trail where you need to see your tire placement you can toggle back and forth um, to that front trail cam review and um, that's obviously these yeah. are you know they're dynamic um, showing you where your tires yeah. are going to be headed and also there's that clean camera function in case it gets too muddy um, and you simply x out of that and then you're back at the adventure guide screen um, now, let's say you want to record your journey or you want to tackle a brand new trail or record a brand new trail that there isn't an adventure guide for. And you can do that by pressing start recording. And what this is going to do, it's going to, it's going to create a, a path using GPS breadcrumbing, uh, mapping you know, the trail of your choice. And then if you encounter a, a key spot on the trail, like there's maybe a fork where you have to make a left or a right or there's an obstacle, you can add a waypoint, and there are three classes of waypoints that you can add to the recording places, um, guidance, and obstacles. And then those can all be accessed then. You know, you stop that recording. Everything was recorded. Um, you can also then go into saved recordings. There's nothing here yet because no one's created anything. And then you can, you can view those recordings. So at any point in that recording, you can view metrics like your elevation, uh, the pitch and roll that the vehicle was at. So it's can, just recording all of that metadata as you're going along. Exactly, yep. And then you can export all of that to a USB, and then you can okay. share it with your friends. So does uh, Trails Off-Road have some uh, some place where you can upload those recordings, or, or is it just something that um, you can share with other friends that have a Wrangler that are using this app? Right now, just sharing it with, with other Wrangler owners. Okay. But, and that's the beauty now with with over-the-air updates you know we're gonna make updates we're gonna make improve this experience as time goes on and we'll very easily be able to push those updates out to owners using over-the-air updates cool very cool great well thank you very much yeah absolutely all right